being one of the Falklands' most remote islands and filled with wildlife, beautiful environment and stunning views, work has started on recording methods to eradicate invasive animals to keep the island protected. So the primary um, aim of this field work was to look at the, the baiting um, dosage rates. So we looked at a known area, it was about two hectares in size, and we distributed the bait over that area and then quite laboriously put little flags, little tiny markers by each bait in, in certain plots um, to monitor how long it took for them to be taken up. Um, and then so it meant every day revisiting those plots, uh, counting the baits and seeing how many had been taken. But that all just helps us to see, you know, how long the bait would likely be available to, to the target species and, and to make sure that there's enough bait available. New Ireland has been under the care of the New Ireland Conservation Trust and the importance in making sure it continues to be protected is seen through the range of wildlife, especially birds, and its biodiversity. There's sort of two million breeding pairs of thin-billed prions as a key biodiversity area, um, an imp important bird area and so on, and of course the National Nature Reserve. So it's really important to protect it. But there are other sort of more ecosystem-wide effects uh, mice, for example, will eat a lot of seeds from plants and that prevents natural um, flora recovering in, in the way that it would. Uh, so, so yeah, there's sorts of all kinds of impacts, like um, the other thing they eat will be lots of invertebrates, lots of insects. And so on New Island at the moment, there's no camel crickets, which is, there should be, they should be there. So the only really uh, valid reason for them not to be there is because rats and mice are, are eating them. One of the notable species that's absent from New Ireland, apart from the camel crickets, is the Cobb's wren. Um, it's present on all the islands the, within the island group, um, the ones that are rodent free already, um, but it's not present on the mainland of New Ireland. Uh, and that might be something that we'd look at in the future to reintroduce those species. Over the two years of funding, the initial work starts on finding the best methods for eradication and restoration on New Ireland, but will continue over the years to come.